Hello friends, welcome to UPSC Logics and this is part 3 and the last part of the Mughal Empire. So we shall deal with around 140 questions covering all important points like the decline of the Mughals. We shall deal with the Marathas, all the wars that happened between the British and various confederacies and we shall also deal with the treaties. So in the war section we shall have a look at the Anglo-Maratha war, the Carnatic wars, the Anglo-Sikh war and the various treaties which were related to these particular wars. So without wasting any time let's begin. Who emerged victorious in Aurangzeb's war of succession? It was Badur Shah and he ruled from 1707 to 1712. What title was assumed by Badur Shah after accessing the throne? It was Shah Alam I. Shah Alam I reconciliated with the Sikhs by taking which Sikh Guru into his service? Guru Govind Singh. Sikhs revolted after the death of Guru Govind Singh under the leadership of Banda Bahadur. The Maratha civil war took place during Shah Alam I's reign between Shahu and Tarabai, who took over the throne of Delhi in 1712 with the help of Julfikar Khan, Jahadar Shah. Jahadar Shah was defeated by his nephew in the year 1713 by Farooq Siyar. Farooq Siyar took over the throne with the help of the Sayyid brothers. The name of the Sayyid brothers was Abdullah Khan and Hussain Khan. What were the official positions of the Sayyid brothers Abdullah Khan and Hussain Ali Khan during Farooq Siyar's reign? Wazir and Mir Bakshi. So friends, this is one of the important sections which has always been asked in various PCS state exams. Generally questions have been asked about the Sayyid brothers, who, what were their names? So their names were Abdullah Khan and Hussain Khan. Or their positions have been asked and these were Wazir and Mir Bakshi. Abdullah Khan was the Wazir and Hussain Ali Khan was the Mir Bakshi. Which of the Mughal rulers is ill-famed for taking shares in bribe taken by his courtiers? It was Muhammad Shah and this question has also been asked. To whom does this remark apply? His departure was symbolic of the flight of loyalty and virtue from the empire. Nizamul Mulk and this was in regards to Nizamul Mulk forming another state called Hyderabad. Who was the Nawab of Bengal during whose reign the uprising of Sita Ram Rai, Uday Narayan, Gulam Muhammad, Shujat Khan and Nazat Khan took place? It was Murshid Kuli Khan. Who was the founder of the autonomous kingdom of Awadh, Sadat Khan, Burhan Malak or Mulk? Who was the Nawab of Awadh to be appointed the Wazir of the Mughal Empire in 1748? Safdar Zang. Who was made the king when Farooq Siyar was killed by the Sayyid brothers? Rafi ud And he was the son of Bahadur Shah. Muhammad Shah ascended the throne in the year 1719. Hyderabad state was founded in the year 1720 by Nizamul Mulk. During whose reign did Nader Shah invade India in 1738? It was during the reign of Muhammad Shah. Who ascended the throne of Delhi in the year 1748? It was Ahmad Shah and in the same year Ahmad Shah Abdali also attacked who was a general of Nader Shah. Ahmad Shah Abdali, a general of Nader Shah invaded Delhi once again in the year 1748. Which ruler of Delhi was killed by his wazir, Imad ul Mulk, Alamgir II, and he ruled from 1754 to 59? Shah Alam II, 1759-1806, was defeated by the British in the Battle of Buxar, 1764. Delhi was captured by the British in the year 1803. The title of Raja to Ram Mohan Roy was conferred by which king of Delhi? It was Akbar II. In it, and he ruled from 1806 to 1837. And this particular title was given to Ramon Roy so that he could go to England and plead on behest of Akbar II. The last Mughal emperor of India was Bahadur Shah II, and he ruled from 1837 to 62. And he was exiled in a 1857 after the mutiny and was sent to Rangoon where he died. Which Rajput ruler established observation 
और ऑब्जर्वेटरीज एट डेली जयपुर उज्जैन वाराणसी एंड मथुरा इट वॉज सवाय जय सिंह हु फाउंडेड द सेपरेट प्रिंसिपैलिटी ऑफ रोहिल खंड इट वॉज अली मोहम्मद खान विच गुरु बिगान द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सिक्स इन टू अ मिलिट्री कम्युनिटी इट वॉज गुरु हर गोविंद हु डिड द मराठाज हेल्प टू बिकम द मुगल वजीर इन सेवनटीन फिफ्टी टू इट वॉज इमाद उल मुल्क हु बिकेम द पेशवा आफ्टर द थर्ड बैटल ऑफ पानीपत माधव राव हु सक्सीडेड द पेशवा इन सेवनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ सवाय माधव राव बाजी राव टू रिगार्डिंग विच इंडस्ट्रीज डिड द इंग्लिश ऑब्जर्वर राइट्स दे एल फॉर इंडियंस taught the english for more than than they learned from them it was ship building which european traveler noted that hindu women can go anywhere alone she need not fear the impertinent looks and jokes it was abe j a dubua and this question has also been asked who was the mughal emperor when the third battle of panipat took place bahadur shah 2 who was the maratha chief who forced alviradi khan to cede orissa raghuji bhonsle what was the real name of sadat khan burhan ul mulk it was mir mohammad amin which treaty was signed between the mysore and the british india in 1784 treaty of mysore who was the king of afghanistan invited by tipu to invade india it was jaman shah Which ruler of Mysore was well versed in Arabic, Persian, Urdu and Kannada? Hyder Ali. Who was the guru when Sikh Khalsa was formed? Govind Singh. The Treaty of Amritsar gave the British control over the territories of Sis Satluj. Who were the French officers associated with the training of Ranjit Singh army? It was Venture and Allard. Which a home ruler was known as the Shivaji of Assam, Rudra Singha, and this is also an important question. Which Jat leader advised the Maratha commander Sadashiv Rao to adopt guerrilla warfare in the Third Battle of Panipat, Suraj Mal? What was the original name of Nadir Shah of Persia, Nadir Kuli? Which of the nobles offered Nadir Shah twenty crore of rupees to attack Delhi? It was Sadat Khan. Whom did Ahmed Shah Abdali appoint as the Mughal emperor in 1756? Alamgir II. Who was the Portuguese governor who captured Goa in 1510? It was Alfonso D. Albuquerque, and this is also an important question. The place near Calcutta where French established themselves was Chandranagore. Which town was given to the French by Muzaffar Jung on becoming the Nizam, Musli Pattam? Who did Basi raise as the new Nawab on the death of Muzaffar Jung, Salabat Jung? The fortification of which place acted as the breaking point between the English and Siraj ud Dola, Calcutta? Which English factory was seized by Siraj ud Dola after marching into Calcutta? It was Kasim Bazar. Who gives the account of 146 Englishmen confined during the night in a small room and dying of suffocation in the black hole episode? Holwell. What was Calcutta renamed as after its capture by Siraj ud Dola on June 1, 1756? Ali Nagar. The Treaty of Ali Nagar, 1757, was signed between Robert Clive and Siraj ud Dola. The Battle of Plassey took place on June 23, 1757. Who played as traitors to Siraj ud Dola in the Battle of Plassey? It was Mir Jafar and Rai Dullab. And this is also an important question: the question regarding the traitors to Siraj ud Dola. The Battle of Baksar, 1764, took place between Mir Qasim, Shuja ud Dola, Shah Alam II on one side, and the British on the other. The Battle of Plassey was followed in the words of a Bengali poet by the night. by a night of eternal gloom for india and it was nabin chand sen this is the reason for this is that this particular battle was fought during the night and was just fought for a couple of hours which changed the course of indian history the east india company got the zamindari of chittagong midnapur and burdwan from mir qasim 
who succeeded Mir Jafar as the Nawab of Bengal, Nizam ud-Dawla? From whom did the British secure the Diwani of Bihar, Bengal, and Odisha? It was Shah Alam II. Who was the Governor General of Bengal when the Treaty of Salbai was signed? Warren Hastings. And this treaty was signed in 1792. Who was the British Governor General when the Third Anglo Maratha War concluded or occurred? It was Lord Hastings. Who was the English general responsible for the annexation of Sindh? Charles Napier. Which treaty with the Marathas was considered as a scrap of paper between by Warren Hastings? Treaty of Purandar, 1776. The Treaty of Amritsar, 1809, was signed between Metcalf and Rana Ranjit Singh. When and where was Shivaji born? 1627 in Sivnair. In 1637, Shivaji inherited a jagir from his father for the maintenance of his mother as well as himself. What was this jagir? It was Puna. Who was the religious guru of Shivaji? Ram Das. Between 1645 and 1647, Shivaji conquered three forts from the Adil Shahi ruler of Bijapur. These were Raigar, Toma and Kondana. Who was Afzal Khan? He was a Adil Shahi noble, deputed to punish Shivaji but instead got killed by the latter. With whom did Shivaji sign the Treaty of Purandar and when? 1665 with Raja Jai Singh and this is a different treaty than the treaty that has been called a scrap of paper by Warren Hastings that was signed in 1776. Who was Dada Kondeya Dev? He was the Shivaji's guardian. Maratha expertise in the guerrilla tactics of warfare was one of the crucial factors responsible for their rise and emergence as a strong power in the Deccan. From whom did they probably learn these tactics? It was Malik Ambar of Ahmednagar. From whom did Shivaji conquer Javli, which made him the master of highlands of Maharashtra, Chandarao More? What made Shivaji temporarily suspend hostile activities against Adil Shahi? of Bijapur for a brief period of six years from 1649 to 55. It was the arrest and imprisonment of his father by the Adil Shahi ruler. How many times and when Shivaji plundered Surat, the most important commercial and trade center of the Mughals, twice, 1664 and 1670. With whom did Shivaji form an alliance to conquer certain parts of Bijapur Karnataka region, Kutub Shahis of Golconda. To whom was Shivaji greatly indebted in the field of administrative reforms? Malik Ambar of Ahmednagar. What was Sarjanam under the Marathas? It was a unit of land whose revenue was assigned to big officials and military commanders in lieu of their salaries. The new post of Pratinidhi came into existence during the reign of which Maratha ruler? Raja Ram. Who is generally considered to be the greatest exponent of guerrilla tactics of warfare after Shivaji? It was Bajirao I. Who among the following got the title of Sena Karte? Balaji Vishwanath. During the Peshwaship of whom did the Maratha Confederacy begin with certain Maratha chiefs getting themselves entrenched in different parts of India? It was Shahu. Who was properly known as Nana Sahib? Balaji Bajirao. During whose reign did the post of Peshwas not only became powerful but also hereditary, it was Shahu. Sambhaji was captured by the Mughal nobles and executed in 1689 on the orders of Aurangzeb. Who was the Mughal noble and where was Sambhaji captured? He was captured by Mukrab Khan in Sangameshwar. Who was the first Maratha ruler to get legal recognition from the Mughals? Shahu. Shivaji in later years increased the land revenue in his Swaraj from 33% to 40%. In Maratha administration, who was responsible for the collection of land revenue at the lowest unit, that is the village, it is the Patil. What was the measuring instrument adopted by Shivaji from the uniform measurement of land? Kathi. Where did Shivaji station his naval fleet? Kolaba. The chronological order of the successors of Shivaji was Sambhaji, Rajaram, Shivaji II, Shahu and Ram Raja. What is the historical sequence of Peshwas, Balaji Vishwanath, 
Baji Rao. Number three was Balaji Baji Rao. Number four was Madhav Rao. Number five was Narayan Rao. And number six was Savai Madhav Rao. Shivaji assumed the title of Chhatpati on his coronation of Raigar. Almost all ministers of Shivaji's Asht Pradhan took part in the war, except two of them. They were Pandit Rao and Nyayadhish. The first Carnatic War was fought in 1745 to 48. The reason for the war was capture of French ships by the English Navy under Barnett, 1745, and retaliation of the French under Duple by capture of Madras in 1746. The second Carnatic War was fought between 1754 to 1759. The French supported Mujaffar Jung and Chanda Sahib in Hyderabad and Karnatak respectively. So Mujaffar Jung was in Hyderabad and Chanda Sahib was in Karnatak. And the English supported Nasir Lang in Hyderabad and Anwaruddin in Karnatak and later his son Muhammad Ali in Karnatak. Who was placed on the throne of Karnatak? It was Muhammad Ali by the British. So this particular war was fought because both of them, the French and the English, wanted to be kingmakers. Duple was recalled by the French government in 1754. Third Carnatic War was fought in the year 1758 to 63, and the reason for it was the Seven Year War broke out in Europe. The Battle of Wandiwash was also a part of the Third Carnatic War and it took place in 1760. Count Lally was defeated by Ayarkut in the Battle of Wandiwash and this battle was fought on January 22nd, 1760. This is also a very important question often asked. And often it is asked who was the English general. It was Ayarkut. Peace was concluded between the French and the British in the year 1763. The main reasons for Battle of Plassey 1757 was number one, misinterpretation of the Farman or the Stucks by the British. Number two was the fortification of Calcutta by the British and number three was the personality of Sirajuddaula. He was young and foolish. Who were the generals of Siraj Dola who fought in the Battle of Plassey? It was Mir Madan and Mohanlal. This is also an important question. The traitors of Battle of Plassey were Mir Jafar and Rai Durlab. We have discussed that before. And there was another one called Yad Lutuf Khan. The Battle of Plassey is significant for the reason. Number one, it paved the way of mastery of the British over Bengal and eventually all over India. Number two, it boosted the prestige of the British. Number three, it amassed untold wealth for the company officials. And number four, is it marked the beginning of economic drain of India. The Battle of Buxar made the British de facto rulers of Bengal, Bihar and Odisha in 1764. Who was the governor of Calcutta when the black hole tragedy occurred in Calcutta? It was Drake. The First War of Mysore, 1766 to 69, concluded in the Treaty of Madras. So this is also a very important question. Often the wars are given and the treaties given or you have been asked to match the treaties. So please remember, first war was Madras. A tripatriate alliance was formed between the British Nizam and Marathas against Hyder Ali in the First War of Mysore. The second war of Mysore was fought in the years 1780 to 84. The war concluded in the Treaty of Mangalore 1784. The treaty was signed between Tipu Sultan and Lord McCartney, who was the governor of Madras. The third war of Mysore was fought in the year 1790-92 and the war ended with the Treaty of Seri Ranga Patnam in 1792. The war was fought between Tupu Sultan and Cornwallis in which Cornwallis was victorious after the initial defeat of Major General Meadows. The fourth war of Mysore was fought in the year 1799 and of course in this particular war Tipu Sultan was defeated and he died defending Sri Ranga Patnam in 1799. Who was the brother and governor general? who took part in this war and was also a part of battle in which Napoleon was defeated in the Battle of Waterloo. It was Arthur Wesley. 
The first Anglo-Maratha war took place in the year 1775 and 82. The first Anglo-Maratha war concluded in the Treaty of Salbai, 1792. The British were defeated by the Marathas at Talegaon, 1776. The first Anglo-Maratha war resulted in stalemate and deadlock for two years from 1781 to 82. The reason for the first Anglo-Maratha war was Number 1. Power struggle among the Marathas An attempt of the British to take advantage for this power struggle by supporting Raghunath Rao. So again the British wanted to be kingmakers and this particular first Anglo-Maratha war took place. Treaty of Salabai was the treaty that resulted in the end of the first Anglo-Maratha war. The second Anglo-Maratha war took place in the year 1803 to 1805. And the reason behind this second war was number one, Wesley's aggressive policy and his desire to impose subsidiary alliance on the Marathas. So this particular war was all in regards to the subsidiary alliance. The subsidiary treaty of Basan 1802 was signed between Peshwa, Baji Rao II and the British. The war concluded in the defeat of Sindhyas and Bhonsles by the British under Arthur Wesley and as we know Arthur Wesley was also involved in the killing of Tipu Sultan. The Pindari war was fought in the years 1817 and 18. The leaders of the Pindari war were Karim Khan, Vasil Mohammed and Chittu. So these questions have been often asked the leaders of the Pindari war. The third Anglo-Maratha war was fought in the year 1817 to 1818. The first Anglo-Sikh war was fought in the year 1845 and 46. The first Anglo-Sikh war ended with the Treaty of Lahore 1846. The second Anglo-Sikh war was fought in the year 1848-49. The war resulted in the annexation of Punjab by the British and disposal of the Lip Singh. The Lip Singh was Exiled to England where he went and lived with his mother for the rest of his life. The first chief commissioner of Punjab was Sir John Lawrence. In fact, there was a three commissioner bench created. Sindh was annexed by the British in the year 1843. So friends, this brings us to the end of the chapter in history of the Mughal Empire. And I hope you have enjoyed it. Lot of questions have been there which have been asked in the previous year. So I have actually marked all those questions that have been asked. And uh, if you are a new subscriber, do like and subscribe to this channel. Please share these videos if you really like them. And uh, if you are an old subscriber, don't forget to press the bell icon as I always tell at the end of all my videos. So thank you so much for watching and Jai Hind.